Disgrace. That is one of those early Finnish death metal names that you might have heard of. Or, in case you're a little bit younger, you might have totally missed this veteran case because it was so underground and this flame of death metal really didn't last that long with Disgrace. They continued later on with some more rockish music, but the days of death metal were limited more or less to years 1990-1991. Well, there were previous years and all that stuff, but not so much happening. But those two years, Disgrace burned as a bright star, at least on certain degrees. So now SWAT Records have released, or actually this is to be released one day after this review, a compilation of sorts or sort of a reissue with compilation tracks called Grey Misery, the death metal years. Uh, the full name is actually a little bit longer, but you'll have to bear with me when it comes to this. So this is a, a double CD release. It's also out on double Vinyl plus 7-inch, so vinyl releases technically two 12-inch uh, LPs and then a 7-inch EP. And I'm gonna explain you why in a bit, but first let's take a look on this uh, double feature CD. So, as you can see, uh, it features CD 2 and 1. Why two CDs? Well, because the, it's almost 80 minutes, so it would have been maybe a little bit problematic to fit them all on one disc. First of all, on this disc number one, there is this Grey Misery debut full length, which is old school death metal, obviously. The second album here is actually the compilation. It features two demos, two cover bonus tracks, and then this seven inch EP Deaths of God, uh, which is on the vinyl release, it's as its own 7-inch reissue print. So, to give you a little bit more insight, uh, there is this track list. Uh, I hope the zoom is just picking the um, uh, list here a bit more better way. But anyway, as you can see, two uh, bonus tracks here, which are cover songs. Then we have these uh, demos here and the EP in the middle. And then we have the full length from 1992, I think. It says 1992, but more or less these are from 1990 to 1901. Anyway, uh, this uh, compilation is also filled with a nice interview. It all starts here with a, as you can see, 1987 and 1988, and that was different first couple of years when the band start doing their stuff and very much they pushed the gas pedal and start doing their well, own death metal. Now the lineup has gone through some changes throughout the years obviously so um, Disgrace was never a band without problems. Uh, to be honest I don't know I am still too young to totally remember how it all went and and all that stuff, but the point here is Disgrace changed quite quickly what it was. So here's more uh, accurate info, 1991 demo, 1992 demo, 1991 uh, demo and all that stuff. So basically there's the track list and all that stuff. If I'm just incorrect with my years and stuff because I probably was mentioning some wrong years, forgive me, I don't have these transcribed here. So text so I just pull these numbers and figures out of my head which is sometimes so goddamn wrong that it kills me. Anyway, so this is disgrace in all its death metal glory. So how glorious it is in essence? Well, to be honest, this is kind of a tricky question to answer. First of all, because we begin with, with a band that is quite raw, harsh, unpolished, very enthusiastic and all that stuff. And they were very, very active with their music to, you know, create all that stuff for these various releases. Now, it's quite unfair, but also makes a little bit sense if I compare this to Swedish death metal. That is all Finnish death metal on its all glory to Finnish, uh, sorry, Swedish death metal, American death metal and so forth. Now, all American bands, as you pretty much know, which started already 1980s, they were pretty 
goddamn professional with their early albums. By pro, I don't mean that they started as, you know, giving, just kicking their day jobs out of the floor and all that stuff, but more like they had honed their skills to the level that they were already excelling with their uh, debut album. So they were like masters of death metal already in the beginning. Obviously this didn't come just like that. The same applies to many bands in Sweden as well. I mean, we after all, we know that this member and Entomb didn't just like start like that. They had demos, they had even other bands before, you know, pushing the battle. But when it comes to Finnish death metal scene, it was a little bit different. I guess we didn't have that luxury of kind of a, being the pioneers and having the kind of a head start, if you will. So Finnish death metal bands came a little bit late to this competition, even if these bands started late 80s or early 90s. And that is one of the reasons which I think is the reason why uh, Disgrace is not so well formulated, well um, written when it comes to songs and all that stuff. Now, every basic element of death metal is very much present with Grey Misery. I mean, it's just kind of a dark death metal with very finished touch. There's growling vocals and the sound is a little bit mushy in the terms of how early death metal bands so often were. But to be honest, it's clearly a debut album which is just kind of like trying to figure out how to pull those stunts, how to create these riffs and how to compose the songs which would in the end become kind of a classic, future classic if you will. I think very much the same things are present here than which were like on Soul's Eye Journey by Dark Throne. They had like four demos already before, you know, doing Soul's Eye Journey. And still, with all these training, tra rehearsal tapes and all the training and whatever, I mean, it's still kind of clear that these are young guys trying to pull the best of death metal with the can with their skill set and understanding of the music and whatever. So the same things are present here. It's not like this is D-Side's first album or by Morbid Angel debut or Death debut. I mean, these are way more kind of a demo level of recording. And that's not of, for benefit of Disgrace. I mean, like I said, the music is kind of a dark and all that stuff, but it's also very demo-ish. And maybe this fast pace with a couple of demos and seven inch and then suddenly a full length album, maybe it's just too much in too little of time. And that resulted this being kind of a I wouldn't say fumbling or flawed uh, album, but still kind of a demo-ish. And if you listen to the second CD, which is even more raw and harsh when it comes to the actual production quality, I mean, you can pretty much hear that the band didn't have like quick evolution and progress, but it's actual, actually the same kind of time, uh, same kind of songs, which are just pushed out. So there wasn't this kind of a, huge span of time where you can just like take a little bit you know like notes and you know just compare these tracks and all those riffs which eat other but more like pushing things out fast paced and getting done with it so disgrace is no doubt a kind of a classic but it's not really strong classic uh, i'm kind of sorry that i have to say this because probably lots of people are like oh you just don't understand anything about dead metal might be true uh, but I think Great Misery is kind of a, once again, a recording that shows these guys had potential to become the big thing in the Finnish death metal scene. Too bad they so quickly changed their direction and went for totally something different. I mean, after a couple of albums, who knows how big and pro name they could have been in the death metal scene. And unfortunately, this happened to most of the death metal bands in, in the Finnish scene. I mean, Aberrance or Sisma or... Demilich, the bands like that, Demigod even, I mean, they all went sooner or later on hiatus or started doing something else uh, or just split up. And there are other bands as well, but we don't have these old school death metal names that, you know, decided to keep it death metal. Even early Amorphis, which I think started great with their first album, I mean, quite soon they decided to pursue some other stuff. So, Instead of being kind of uh, consistent with this stuff, Disgrace is no exception to the scene. 
in Finland. So definitely this is a kind of a cultural work to release everything on this craze, death metal discography on one single uh, release and on the vinyl it's of his of course better and better looking feels probably nice and all that stuff and then you have this interview to complement the release but is this a thing is this a kind of a game changer that is gonna just blow your mind after like 30 years almost 30 years unfortunately no so kind of a more interesting insight into the history of Finnish death metal rather than being a kind of a Super classic record you just have to have in your collection so obviously what you're gonna do is go check out samples go streaming services and whatever and try to find these tracks for your listening pleasure but blindly to buy this one just because it's some old reissued classic I think that would be sort of a minor mistake but of course it's your call and uh, feel free to decide for yourself. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Take care.